Hey, welcome back to Diecast Cars. So today, guys, we got a little trade analysis you guys have seen in the month of December 2023. I did pretty good in the Super Treasure Hunt department. You guys know I went to my local pick and save, was able to find this Mighty K Super Treasure Hunt hanging on the pegs. Then I went to my Dollar Tree and was able to get the Shelby GT500 way in the back of the pegs after the store manager let me know that they just did a fresh restock and then i went on ebay and picked up that Datsun 510 wagon for under market value picked it up at about a hundred dollars 108 to be exact where right now current secondary market pricing is sitting at about 150. And after I posted those videos, I had a viewer reach out to me just asking if I'd be open to any kind of trades because these were the supers from 2023 that he needed to complete his set for the year. I was kind of open to it. I mean, it doesn't hurt to just see what people have to offer. Showed me a bunch of stuff. He had a massive collection, lots of really neat stuff. Sounds like he'd been collecting for quite some time. He had super sets, master sets all kinds of releases he showed me a quick picture of his storage i mean it was just boxes and boxes at eye level and he showed me a particular super treasure hunt that he had in his collection for quite some time just kind of been sitting there collecting dust wasn't a huge fan of it but rest assured it is an iconic super treasure hunt one that is just minted in everybody's mind as being one of the top supers especially here in 2024 and we'll jump into that detail in a second here but he offered it up for trade and i took it so before i get these three super treasure hunts shipped off to the new owner let's just go through and review the values of these cars so you got the mighty k super which surprisingly right now guys it's pretty sought after right now it's sitting at about 40 dollars on the secondary market then you got the 69 shelby gt 500 right now secondary market sitting also at about $40. I mean, it looks good. Great Spectra Flame Purple. I like that convertible top as well too. And then last but not least, you got the Datsun 510 Wagon, the pink Spectra Flame second Super Treasure Hunt release of this casting. Right now, secondary market sits right at that 150 mark. A little bit above a little bit below but that's right about where the average is and in all honesty guys i'm gonna be sad to see this one go because again i personally feel like the value on it could potentially go up just given the popularity of jdm and the Datsun 510 but again it was a very good offer from the other collector and i could not pass it up so let's get these boxed up shipped to the new owner and wait for that new super to come in all right so today was mal day i finally got my end of the trade and just to set the stage guys i got the legends tour cars that are in my collection right now you got the Datsun 510 wagon the nissan skyline r32 and also the honda s2000 because again my end of the trade was definitely a legend of a cast and it is no other than the cool combi super treasure hunt from 2015 also you'll notice this one is factory sealed man this thing is such a beauty i mean the other collector was not lying the condition is pretty solid on this one for for the age of this release I mean, no issues with the car, no issues with the bubble. I mean, the sticker is on there. It's pristine. So a couple of stats just to round out the trade. This cool combi super treasure hunt right now, secondary market, essentially is crossing the $200 threshold right now. I've seen it go even up to about $220. And the factory seal version specifically, I've seen it sell in december for about 250 dollars which is pretty insane i mean there's definitely a climb in this super people are truly going back looking for this super trying to add it to their collection 
And I think a little bit of that is due to the fact that here in 2024, the Legends Tour car is going to be a pink or a fuchsia cool combi in this exact Super Treasure Hunt livery, the Surf Shop. So I think people are truly anticipating that release and they want this Super Treasure Hunt to pair with it, which honestly was my reason for making this trade as well. And from an overall value standpoint, I would say that this trade was fair because this cool combi right now sitting at about 230 to 250 being the factory sealed version compared to the three supers that I did trade away, the 510 Wagon, the Mighty K, as well as the Shelby GT500. Those three supers right now, secondary market average about $230, $240 total. So ballpark, they're about even. It really just comes down to your own personal opinion and personal interest as to would you rather have the most current supers or would you rather have slightly older, slightly more vintage super treasure hunts that are already cemented as some of the legends when it comes to Hot Wheels and die cast collecting? Personally, in this particular situation, I felt a lot stronger about the older super treasure hunt that's already very sought after has a following from collectors in the cool combi versus the newer super treasure hunts where we really don't know where they're going to go i mean we know the 510 wagon is going to be very popular it's going to be sought after moving forward we know that but the mighty k and the shelby gt500 they might still be in the hype phase of the collecting world where folks are willing to pay that 40 50 dollar price point and they might even tape off in value as we move forward right so i don't want to get stuck holding the bag where the values drop off so much to where it's not redeemable anymore so in this particular situation i just felt safer going with the sure shot and the cool combi super treasure hunt on top of that if you think about it i know we're a month into 2024 but i still feel like there is still a chance to find the mighty k super still a chance to find the p case Dotson 510 Wagon Super. I know just recently I've seen some folks point out that P case and N case have been popping up at Dollar Generals. So a little bit of a helpful hint for a lot of you hunters out there. But yeah, we still have stores getting a lot of 2023 cases. So 2023 Super Treasure Hunts are still obtainable if you're out there looking for them. Whereas when you're talking about the cool combi from 2015, it's gone. I mean, it, the well has dried up. You're never going to see these at a retail shelf ever again. Your best bet is eBay, hobby stores, trading with your fellow collectors, etc. But be ready to pay an arm and a leg if you're trying to buy outright or trade like me where you're siphoning off quite a bit of cars in order to get it into your collection i will also point out that this is a pretty tried and true strategy when you're trying to build up your collection as well too i mean there's no shame in getting out there hunting finding all the modern stuff and then trading for all those old pieces that you never had a chance to get all the old cars and chase pieces that maybe you weren't even collecting back then like for me for instance, in 2015, I was not hunting and collecting Hot Wheels, so I never had a chance to get the Cool Combi Super Treasure Hunt. So I will gladly trade off modern Super Treasure Hunts that I have acquired in order to get older pieces that I need for my collection. Just another tactic for Hot Wheels and die cast investing. Something for you guys to think about if you're sitting on a bunch of modern chase pieces super treasure hunts or even other brands like mini gts and white lightnings and auto worlds etc and there's some older more vintage pieces that you want in your collection it's not a bad option to trade off that newer stuff for some older stuff if you're searching for it so that's what i got for you guys today just wanted to share with you guys a trade that i made let me know what your thoughts are as far as the cool combi and the three super treasure hunts that i traded away from the 2023 super set let me know if you think it was a fair trade if it was an unfair trade if they got the upper hand or vice versa 
On top of that, guys, just wanted to give you guys a heads up that 2024 might shape out to be a pretty good year for the cool combi. Definitely a casting that you should keep on your radar. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time on Die Cash Cars.